And this brings me to the overall theme. We stand at a time to dive as an eclipse, okay? This is only a precursor. There's a massive eclipse coming up in April next year, and that's going to be much more important. But this is a precursor. It seems that the world is lurching towards the right, towards more militaristic, corporate, political, even religious control. Whether we're talking the Middle East or Poland, whether we're talking Australia, whether we're talking America or in my country. And with all the outer planets at the end of their feminine signs and getting ready for the big transition of the next few years and do things to me that this is the, we're entering now into an accelerated last gasp attempt to swing the world politic firmly to the right because the stuff that's coming up in a few years time is going to force humanity into adopting either a completely nihilistic, militaristic, um, corporate approach where words like compassion, kindness and empathy are just going to be eradicated from the rule book. Or the opposite. The world's going to be forced into a way where, where um, social care and the need to look after communities and a much greater balance into the social and communal world, much greater capacity for empathy and the environment is going to become more and more of a norm. One of these two ways is going to be happening soon. So we stand on the cusp of a monumental time in human history. And today's eclipse, with all the corresponding referendums and elections going on around the world, is representative of this. So I, I'm viewing the long game here. I'm not looking at short term. I'm not looking at the next week or two or even year. I'm looking three years, four years, five years. We're heading into a kind of pretty difficult time now for the next few years. And it's leading to this crunch point that's coming up. And it's going to be, uh, it's going to be represented in, in early 2026. Watch the videos I'll put up later. Hope this has been interesting. I've struggled to keep it all together, but I think I've done it. All right, catch you later, world.